Hello, I'm here in SolidWorks and I want to do uh, in SolidWorks an involute spline shaft. Okay, uh, follow ISO uh, 4156. Okay, so the, the flank of a, of a spline shaft are at evolvent, involute. Okay. The, this I'll do in an appro approximation toolbox made of approximation of a circular flank. I'll do on spline with spline uh, with spline approximation spline of this one. Okay, spline. I mean this one spline. Okay. Um, so uh, I'll no, I. I go. I wanna look only one segment. Okay, perfect, perfetto. Uh, so I draw in the my is uh, this plane. Okay, piano superiore, but is uh, top plane. Okay, I go in top plane. Uh, I draw my circle, and this circle is pitch dra uh, pitch, uh, pitch circle, pitch diameter. And uh, mo uh, module is one. Uh, number of tooth uh, of teeth is uh, ten, and angle of pressure is thirty degree. So uh, pitch diameter is ten millimeter because module multiply number of teeth, no the denti. Okay, so it's ten, ten millimeter. Okay, uh, and these I made with. Uh, construction geometry. This is the pitch. Okay. After I drew the addendum, ma major di diameter, and okay, and I go is 0 0.5 per module. Dunque is 0 0.5. Okay. And after I drew the line of the addendum of minor diameter, and this is. 0.75 millimeter. So I can draw, 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 draw. Okay, the diameter of the minor diameter, the uh, root diameter. Okay, construction, and after I can draw. I draw. I draw in the center. Okay the major the diameter and the tip diameter okay uh, now i have to divide it because the number of teeth are 10 so i divided this one the pitch diameter in 20 parts so i use this command segment okay and i put here uh, 20 okay uh, sketch segments okay so I have 20 segment I move the segment okay and I put this point with this point horizontal okay so uh, my tef my uh, 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 okay I can explain the not the teeth, but the other one, the vein, uh, okay, the, the vein is in the middle. Because I want not to, uh, to build the, the teeth, the tooth, but I want to, uh, in ex with extrusion features here, with uh, um, extruded cut. I want to cut out, cut, cut out, togliere, okay, uh, material. So uh, I want to draw with I want to draw, <laughs> draw. Um, um, I go to the sketch okay I am in the sketch and I draw this one the spline okay spline I go here spline here spline and I make one click here and after click here okay uh, I draw also a line, is a approximation method. I draw a line 
here in the middle, okay, in the, on the pitch diameter. And after I do uh, another line here, okay, and this control, this one perpendicular, okay. And after I do in the same point, another line, this line have to be tangent to the spline, okay. And after I do this line, the same point, and this have to be perpendicular to this one, okay. And this I do the pressure angle is 30 degree, 30, 30, okay. Uh, after I can make this one because the involute has a property. So I uh, draw a line here, tangent from here, tangent here to here. Okay, and this one has to be tangent. Okay, perfect. After I go with trim entities and I cut, keep trim entities as construction geometry, I put this one and I cut this one. So I, vis, I have this one, select this one, control this one, and put equal, make curves equal length, I put equal, so became uh, black, I have uh, my flank, okay, so I go with a mirror entities, uh, this one, okay, and mirror about this one, after I draw uh, arc, put this one, with this one, okay, and after, click here, and click here, okay, this one, uh, control this one, okay, I made coradia, coradial, and after, I, this one, click this one with the left mouse, and I make coradial, after, okay, so I close this one, with this sketch, okay, I make another sketch on uh, top plane, okay, I make a circle, I go here, and I go here, and after I make this one, control this one, coridial, and after I make features, extruded, and I, for example, uh, 50 millimeter. Okay, at this point, I make a sketch one, okay, extruded cut, change direction, I go through all, and I cut. And after I go to a circular pattern, pattern okay, the uh, axial is this one, and cut extrude is this one, okay, perfect. So I have the rule my splined shaft okay uh, is an approximation because this flank is uh, involute but is an approximate involute okay it's not the real involute because i approximate approximated uh, if i want this one in the uh, flat root this uh, module is one this is uh, a 0 0.2 per module, okay, so this one is 0 0.2 millimeter, millimeter, and I, so I have to put 0 0.2, okay, um, if I make it with machine, it's not a regular uh, fillet, but it's a troco trochoidal fillet, okay, but maybe I want to print, uh, 3D printed, so I can I can use this, um, this fillet, so I, uh, so I click here, okay, and I use uh, this one, okay, and so I click here, I have made my spline shaft, okay, uh, okay, I hope uh, this is, this one you can also draw in design library, so you can put on your shaft, there is some something to change, but 
Uh, however, you can use it, okay, um, it's a little difficult, but you can do it. And so I like this one, okay, uh, I make my design library and I have this one, uh, this one with design library, I uh, move, okay, and after created the uh, spline shaft. Oh, okay. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoy. See you next time.